Okay, in the previous video I introduced you to the bell curve and introduced you to its properties that, um, and the percentages underneath the curve and how they relate to the standard deviations. Now, we want to be able to do these calculations quite neatly and quickly. And what we're going to be using is known as the standardised normal distribution. So, let me first explain that the normal distribution can be fully defined, so x is normally distributed, by, and it can be defined by its mean and its variance. Okay, so it's written like this, x is normally distributed with a mean mu and a, and a variance sigma squared. Now, the standardised normal that will allow us to uh, solve a great many problems uh, sorry, oh, Z, it's often referred to as Z Z is normally distributed with a mean of 0 and a variance of 1 OK? So, it would look something like this um, there's zero, one, two, three, minus one, minus two, minus three. Okay? So this would be the standardized normal curve. Now, um, in order to use this, um, mathematicians then went to try and find a curve that fit it. I managed to find a very, a very good one, and the equation for this curve, I've got to look at it from a book because I never remember it, is 1 over 2 pi e to the minus 1 half x squared. So this was the horrific looking equation um, that is a good version of the curve in question. And if you wanted to find areas of this, then you could integrate it, because integrating under the curve will allow you to find the probabilities. But thankfully, we don't have to do that. We, can, we either have the uh, normal distribution tables, okay, that are in the back of the formula booklet, or we've got the TI-82 stats, um, which will allow us to solve these problems very quickly. So, what I'm going to show you in the next video is how to start solving simple problems using the normal distribution.